Hi, Kitty Cats. Today is May 20th, 2024. Now I'm sitting at my desk here because I want to do a slightly longer video. I'm going to be using notes because what I want to do is answer Violet Etheria 4253. She asked me a question about early transition, including how to find what suits you and what reactions you can expect when you're not quite passing during transition. So before I go too far, I want to talk about what passing truly means. Passing is not perfection. You don't have to look like a supermodel. What you have to do is look good enough. You have to be able to go get a loaf of bread at the supermarket. The way that I like to think about it is that you want to be unremarkable. And I know maybe that's funny coming from the lady with the purple hair. But what I mean is that you want to have enough cues that when people see you, they don't stop to take another look. Now, that's passing. Early transition is very difficult. You're going to have to find clothes that work for your body type. You're going to have to, if you're trans femme, you're going to have to find makeup techniques that work for your face. And in the meantime, what you're doing is waiting for hormone therapy to work its magic. There are other ancillary aspects like maybe hair removal or hair growth. Maybe you have to look at wigs. Maybe you have to look at a binder. Maybe you're going to put on weight, lose weight. But let me give you my biggest piece of advice. Be glad that you're transitioning. There will be results that are not going to be as good as if you transitioned earlier or not at all. But don't regret those. You're transitioning. You're becoming the person you truly are. And let that happen. Now, how to find what suits you is difficult because basically what you have to do is try everything. It's a little unfortunate. If you can get cisgender friends or if your spouse is willing to help, that's good. There are also online coaches who can assist with external presentation. So I hired somebody to help me with makeup because my makeup skills were about 30 years old. And after that, after I learned as much as I could from him, I went out on my own and I just experimented. And that's what you're going to have to do with clothes, with makeup, with shoes, with everything, because you're basically going through a new puberty and you have to figure out who you are. Now, the last question that Violet asked was how to handle reactions. There are two reactions. One is your internal reaction. I'll tell you, you should be glad you're transitioning and don't forget that gender transition is going to be slow. Changes usually continue for on the order of two to five years, and many changes may take six to nine months before you notice anything. You're going to feel discouraged at times. Gender transition is not easy, especially with the hate that you may get. There are online coaches who can help you process some of the feelings that you have. The one that I would recommend is my friend, Jasmine Vine. I've tagged her in the, uh, in the notes here. She will help you process deep, tra deep trauma from the past or trauma from the present. And you need to build the confidence to keep new situations from becoming traumatic. There is a lot to go through here. So those are internal feelings, external feelings. How will other people feel? I'm going to tell you flat out, you're going to get some hate. All you have to do is look at my YouTube comments to see. I believe these comments come from people who know that they have never investigated who they are. They're upset that you can do what they haven't. So I will tell you, even though the hate is vocal, you will probably receive a lot more love than hate. When I started transition, women I didn't even know wanted to hug me for being so brave. But remember, this is for you. This is not for anybody else. You owe nobody an explanation. You owe nobody an apology. So to end this, you can find a support system. Again, Jasmine is a good resource, and there are Discord server servers for transgender support, including one that I run. So I will close this by saying, don't let anything scare you away from doing what you know is, is right. This is for you. And I hope this answered your question, Violet. If it did, please like, please share, follow me, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.